Hi, ako po si Angel Rivero at kasama ko ngayon si Doktora Debbie Songko. Hello, Hi, Doktora. Hi, Angel. Hi. Ngayon, Doc, alam kong marami na kayong naririnig ng na mga myth and mga pamahiin mula sa inyong mga pasyente. Yeah, that's right. Kung baga, isa na dyan is marami ang nagtatanong, yung position ba during intercourse will determine the effectivity of pagkakabuo. Meron po bang basis yun whatsoever? Actually, it's really a myth. Okay. <laughs> so, most often my patients would ask me the same question over and over and mm-hmm. again. And I tell them that there's no research mm-hmm. for evidence to tell us na may specific position that favors pregnancy. Okay. Or specific position that would favor the sex of the ge- or the gender of the child. Narinig ko na rin yan. Yeah. Kasi sabi nila, in this position, most likely the baby will be a boy. So I tell them, <laughs> binabust ko na agad yung kanilang myths and give them facts. Okay, okay. So hindi totoo yun. <laughs> Not true. And then, may mga nagtatanong din, um, kapag mas matagal, kapag yung babae ay naka, nakahiga ng mas matagal, does that give a better leverage for the sperm to swim, swim up? Swim up. Well, in studies, they tell us that in nine seconds, the best sperm will actually reach the fallopian tube already. Nine seconds lang? Yes, upon ejaculation. Oh so, putting them on the bed for a long time mm-hmm. would sigur, probably do them a bit of a good thing, pero not needed. Ah. But when we do like procedures like inseminations, mm-hmm. um, IVF cycles, then we let them stay for like 30, sec- 30 minutes on the bed to an hour. I see. Just to rest. Okay, but that's with the artificial yes. insemination. Naman. Mm-hmm. All right. The assisted reproduction. I yes. see. And then... One of the more bizarre na beliefs din doc, which I'm sure you have heard over and over yeah. again, is that uh, depending on who will orgasm first yes. or kung sabay sila, it will also affect yung pagkakabuo ng bata. bata. That's really one of the more common questions that Talaga? they give out, yes. Actually, when I was starting my practice, narinig ko to from a patient. Okay. And then I said, there's no correlation in whoever goes first. <laughs> Kasi ang all question nila always, um, if I go first, yung female, will I get pregnant? Or the male asks me, if we go together, nag-come sila together, would it make a, a difference? And I tell them, there's nothing. Kahit nga, you don't reach orgasm, there's no correlation to getting yes, pregnant. And it us. doesn't increase the chances of getting <laughs> pregnant at all. Pero siyempre, for the benefit of the patient, Siguro it would be best. Oo, oh, para Uh-oh. mas masaya sila. Yes. <laughs> para hindi naman boring oh, ang, oh, ang tama. process. Tama. Pero parang that says a lot, di ba, Doc, about our educational system and the yes. quality of education of many people. That's really true. Because remember, when you're young pa lang, you're in grade school, we don't have anything, any lessons on reproduction, right? Yeah. So medyo parang tabu yan for all schools, even mm-hmm. private and public, no? And it's a, it's saddening to know na we have no education on that, no? Okay. Even yung patients ko who are college graduates, mm-hmm. professionals, they have little knowledge that there's such a thing as IVF, as assisted reproduction, and oh. a lot of things. Parang they go away, or parang they go out of the country, and then seek help from them. Out from of the country? Out, out of the country, seek help from other people. Not knowing that it's here, it's yes. available in the country. Yes. Or some patients who've been married for a long time, like mm-hmm. say, then, and then comes to my clinic, Telling me, na, Doc, meron pa lang ganun such a thing as infertility doctor, no? So, oh. parang, ha, oh, ganun. <laughs> Ay, kayo talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Ang hirap, medyo mahirap. Pero we've been trying to reach out to patients through education, to lectures, mm-hmm. no? So, para they get to know also na there's such a thing as help. Precisely. Precisely, no? So, kasi they think of, si pregnancy, they know that there are OB. Yes. No? But when it comes to not getting pregnant, I think medyo may lack of information dissemination there. Mm-hmm. When I go to the communities, no, we go around the country to do community service. Oh, nice. Yeah, but we look at patients, no, pero unfortunately, most of our patients there would be the pregnant ones. Siyempre, no? And it's surprising, surprising to know, but it's the, really the trend that the lower the income yes. of the patient or the bracket of the patient, yes. the higher the number of 
pregnancies. Siyempre, <laughs> pero the more <laughs> your ed the higher the income, mm -hmm. siyempre they are the ones who cannot get pregnant or yes. who are in the statistics for infertility. Mm -hmm. Most likely because of career. Okay. Diba? More often, they are the patients who are career-oriented. Absolutely. Mostly, medyo age na sila when they get married, settle yes. down. No? So. But is that to say, Doc, na may affect rin yung stress in your fertility? Or it's more like it's because you put career first, so parang you're older now when you try? Uh, it's both, no? Um, trying after you get all the money in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that would be a factor, ma meaning age. Okay. So, siyempre, ovarian reserve goes down after the age of 35. Okay. Your capability of getting pregnant. And also the, the stress thing, no? Mm -hmm. Some patients or some doctors would say it's not related. Pero on, in my readings, no, it can also have a profound effect on the, the couple have, trying to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. no? So you get patients after trying so many times and they tell us, ayoko na. Mm -hmm. And then they get pregnant. Yeah. So how do you explain that? Oh, okay. So medyo siguro na alis na yung stress oh, oh. in the process and then they, they relax already to get pregnant, oh, oh. come what may. Bahala right. na si Lord. <laughs> and then they get pregnant for some reason or another. Ang galing, no? no? Ang mga ganun. Mga mysteries. Yes. <laughs> you mentioned, Doc, na uh, bumababa yung ovarian reserve habang tumatanda. Is it also possible na, or is it um, likely that a woman will also start developing mga conditions, mga diseases that will prevent her from getting pregnant as she ages? Um, would it... Like it will manifest mean? itself later in life? Or is it parang more really about the ovarian count na bumababa lang? Kasi when we get, we're, when we're born, no, we're given a set of number of eggs okay. that we take on with us until we age. No? Okay. So, hindi na yun na Okay. However, it gets... Um, it decreases over time, and at 35, the decrease becomes um, higher. Okay. So it doesn't correlate with any disease okay. anymore at that. Unless the patient is also eight, has an, um, an old age or is older mm -hmm. than most co women, and with comorbidities like endometriosis, PCOS, then there's. But if ovarian reserve per se. Mm -hmm. Well, wala naman siyang correlation with other disorders or other diseases. When it comes to men, Doc, someone once told me na mm -hmm. kapag mas bata yung lalaki, parang he also has a better chance of conceiving and versus mas matanda, although lifetime Nam naman nila mm -hmm. nag-produce sila ng sperm. Sila. Well, siguro not really correlated to age ang men. No? Okay. So more of men, di ba men is a very... The men are fertile patients, <laughs> meaning as they age, walang issue on how many sperms they produce. Okay. Because they really produce sperms every like 90 days. Pero 90 hindi to siya kumukonte, no? Hindi. Pero the um, other vices like smoking, alcohol could also affect the number, the quality of mm -hmm. sperms that they produce. I see. The habitus. Ah. Are they obese? Okay. Mga poor or n yung not so nice lifestyles. No, yes. no. So that would affect the number of sperms or the quality of sperms at that. No. I but see. the age, medyo hindi masyado. Okay. I'd have some patients who come in like 35 telling me, Doc, I'm young. Maybe you should check on my wife first. So sabihin. Then I tell them, because I tell my couple, my couple patients, no, na I can't treat you without knowing the other one. No? Yeah. Because ako ang motto ko, it takes two to tango. Agree. Tama. So, it, parang not prudent to just check on the wife. I check on the male as well. And then, lo and behold, some patients who are really trying to tell me na hindi sila ang problem would come out with analysis that are Sila low, pala. yes, so, <laughs> sabi ko, until you give me an evidence, yes. I couldn't say na it, there's nothing wrong with you. Precisely. So, Kaya kayong mga lalaki, huwag kayong double standard. Yes, tama. <laughs> tama yan. Kapag nakakatanggap po ba kayo ng patients, more often than not, couples sila dumarating, or mas common pa rin na yung babae? 
uh, before when I was starting my practice, mm -hmm. parang parating girls. Okay. So, tas I tell them, what's your we're husband? Mm -hmm. And then along the way, siguro dahil passed on, my patients passed on to the other patients, referrals, and one af after the other, mm -hmm. they come in as couples. And that would be best. Yeah. You'd see kasi naman the couples who are really supportive of each other. And Aww. that's really a plus factor for them. You think parang mas nakakatulong talaga sa I success? I think so. Kasi um, I was hearing no yung depression on infertility. It's really true, no? Kasi, oh, there is really such yes, a thing. Yes, that's a, okay. such a thing as inf infertility and depression. depression. So every time a couple goes into a cycle, mm -hmm. syempre, a negative test would give them the the lowest of lows. Yes. No? So they'd cry, they'd fall into depression, they'd stop doing the programs. Mm -hmm. And hindi lang naman sila ang nade-depress. <laughs> pati rin naman yung consultants, no? Oh, no. We're, pati yung doctors, no? So we're waiting for them to get pregnant in after the cycle and then it, it turns out negative. Mm -hmm. Even as we go into that phase na sayang, we also get sad. Siyempre, hindi naman parang, ah, okay lang yun next time. Oh, we can't do that. Yeah. Oh. So parang roller coaster din pala kayo, Doc, no? Parang mm. minsan, yay, successful! Or parang, oh. no. Work. Yes. And there are times na successful, positive mm -hmm. pregnancy test, then after two weeks, wala na yung baby. Ah. So there are abortions. Ah. So, <laughs> okay. So sabi ko sa kanila, until we get that baby, oh, oh. parang take home baby, na uwi mo and all, oh, oh. parang we still pray yes. for the best no, along the way. Mm -hmm. Kasi it doesn't end with a positive pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. no, you need to take home that baby. So, ibig sabihin, Dok, minsan kahit na talagang, kunyari, eight months in, minsan hindi pa rin tumutuloy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grabe, that's Kasi di ba, the completed um, num weeks of pregnancy is 10, uh, 40 weeks, sorry, 10 mm -hmm. months. No? 10 so, months, yes. Until you get that take-home baby, medyo, we still are not in the ano, clearance, no? I not see. in the clear. I see. So, ano po, Dok, ang inyong mabibigay na advice sa mga tao both young and old na and old. <laughs> interesado sa topic na to or interesado magkaroon ng anak for patients who would want to or for women no yes. for that matter who would want to eventually become a mothers no in the future i'd like to tell them that though gusto nila to achieve a great education good career no always bear in mind that they also need to go into that realm of fertility, no? So, ibig sabihin, um, parang don't stop at career. Okay. W don't stop at promoting or enhancing your career. I'd like them to also promote or enhance their fertility, no? So, okay. enhance their capability of becoming mothers eventually. Ang pinaka gusto ko sanang ipahatid mm -hmm. sa patients is that when you get old, no, the getting pregnant or trying to get pregnant when you're getting old becomes a bit of a problem. Okay. Siyempre, when you age, the eggs also decrease. Mm -hmm. And so we'd like to tell these patients na you also parang think of your fertility future. No, not just the future, your career. Parang no. make, make uh, parang, an allocation for that. Parang ano dapat, equal or balance. No? If mm -hmm. you're into the career mode, dapat meron ka rin, um, pathway towards your re reproductive, ano ba to? Path? <laughs> journey? <laughs> oh, your, oh, your reproductive journey. I also tell my students no, in the College of Medicine, no, when my students, we graduate at 26, 27. Oh. Tell, and then we go to residency oh, oh. and then specialization pa. yes and then it takes us roughly around 10 years yes. after that so sabi ko sa kanila you prioritize also no? if you want to get pregnant or no if you want to get or uh, make a family mm -hmm. parang think it over ma maaga dapat mm -hmm. no? so a balance of everything your career family life, and then yourself. No? And also for those who would want to get pregnant, they should also um, be in the mode of lifestyle modification, Tama. away from vices. Oh, oh, Both male and female. No? So, <laughs> hindi ibig sabihin male lang, hindi ibig sabihin female lang. Ay, dalawa. Dalawa parate. So, it, it takes to the tango. That's, That's really right. my motto in all my patients who I see in the clinics. No? So, mm -hmm. 
So yun. Parang regard um prioritize your reproductive health. Also prioritize syempre, your career, yes. but Oo. medyo balance dapat. Kasi some would say gusto ko muna mag-save. Diba? Always naman yun, I would like to save first for my family. Oh, oh eh. Tapos then you get to save it. And then, no family. Uh, oh, oh, so you have to hit that sweet spot, no? Sweet spot on both, no? Yes. Targeting on both your family life and then I think your career as well. Last question, Doc. Para sa mga nanay na nanganak na before mm-hmm. sa kabataan nila, and then parang after 8 years, 10 years, nagta-try na silang magbuo ulit. Ulit. Um, di ba it also happens na hindi porket nang anak ka na before, yes. fertile, madali pa rin for you the second time around kung malaki yung agwat. Yes, that's right. Because there's what we call primary mm-hmm. infertility, which is never, the patient has never gotten pregnant, mm-hmm. ever. No, And then we also have secondary infertility. Mm-hmm. These are patients who've gotten pregnant before and has a hard time getting pregnant again. Mm-hmm. So for them, they also need to seek consult. Because eh. most often, your patients are saying, I'm a child before, oh, oh, eh. so I don't think I need some evaluation anymore. Pero possible but you rin. still need. Same goes to men. Ah. Let's say you ah. have... <laughs> <laughs> so same goes with men because they often tell us na I was able to father a child, mm-hmm. so why should I get a semen analysis again? Because I have proof I have a child. Oh, oh. No. But yeah, you, this is a new relationship. Yes. May bago siyang wife. And then they're trying and they can't get pregnant. And then you, and then the husband has fathered a child before. Oh. So you yeah, ask, tried and tested, oh, tried na, and tested na ako. Eh, no? oh. But again, I tell them, now you need to send in your analysis. Your, so we'd know. Baka there's also some... Maaring prop, nagbago. Oh, over time. Like age also, vices, okay. obesity, baka habitus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Angel. Thank you very much.